Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Creating with the Heart, and I'm back today with another Valentine's Day card. And so what I decided to make is a pop-up card using the Cricut Close to My Heart Artiste cartridge. It's got two pop-ups. It's got a Hello pop-up, which I've done a card with. It's my B card. And I've got, and it's got the Love card. Now I'm using a B again for the Love one because I love the little bees. They're so cute. So we're going to start with the construction of the card first. So what I did was if you look on the artiste cartridge, it has the coordinating card, which looks like just a plain old card. Okay. Oh, I can construct this myself. You're going to want to cut the card that goes with your pop-up. Okay, because you want to make sure that you cut the two at the exact same size. Okay, now I have a gypsy, so I can fudge with my sizes. Okay, it's almost impossible to cut anything at 4.41 inches using your paper cutter. That's what I cut this at. Um, so you are going to need to kind of cut both of those at the same size. So if you decide to cut this at, say, four and a quarter, you need to cut the coordinating card at four and a quarter. That way your sizes will be exact because if you try, if you go, oh, it's four and a quarter, I got to tell you the height will not be five and a half. The height is something else if you put four and a quarter because I can see that on my gypsy. I can see that the actual size of the card, even though it looks like just your regular card, is not. Like this card is five and three eighths, five and three eighths by four and an eighth is what it says on here. Okay? So just so you know, it's kind of a funky size. So you want to make sure that you cut them at the right size. Okay? So what I did for this one is once I cut my card and my coordinating piece, it was very easy. It has these score lines, but it doesn't give you a score line underneath the words. And that is going to need to kind of fold. Okay? So you're going to have to kind of fold that yourself. Do you see what I mean? It doesn't have score line under here, and you kind of need to have it fold a little bit there, otherwise it won't work. So you need to score that underneath, okay? And then I scored um, this top right here, and then all the way across right here. It has the score lines except for this one underneath. So you want to go ahead and score that. I cut it out twice so that I could cut the letters. See, I cut it out once in the pink and then once with my pattern paper, and then I cut my pattern paper out with my scissors, and then I glued it on the little pieces so that I could have my love be a different color. Okay? It's up to you what you want to do. Be mine. I just stamped in black. This is from Honey Pie. Okay? Pink by design. Cutest little bee stamps. If any of you guys know of another bee set that's like this one, let me know in the comments because I love bees and I'm always looking for different bee sentiments. I'm not talking about like the one where it's just like a bunch of bee stamps and then like two or three bee sentiments because I probably have those ones, but I really like the whole like full on sentiment stamp set. It's all about bees. So if you know of any, let me know. All right. So to put this in, now I've just put score tape on here because it was just easier for me. But you want to make sure that it fits and where it's going to fit. So this main fold right here is going to be in your groove. And this will be here. And then this will fit here at the bottom like so. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it this way. I'm going to peel off my, my score tape. Peel off my score tape. And then I'm just going to hold it down, okay? So that we can get it like so. All right? Now to do the other, I'm going to fold it back this way and take it off this way and take all my score tape off. 
because also you, you want to make sure that it can um, fold. This and this. Okay. And then you um, fold it. And voila. Okay. Done. So to decorate the inside, I've got a couple of um, little hearts that I'm going to decorate. And these were punched with the Stampin' Up punch, like this three heart punch. I've had it for a while. I like it. So it's kind of big and bulky, but it has these cute hearts. And so let's see. We'll do one here. We'll do one down here. So I just cut it using my scraps of the two um, pattern papers that I used. Just a good way to use it up. Okay, and then we have this one. And then I've got a teeny tiny one, which I'm going to find my, um, my two-way glue pen to attach that one because it's tiny. There's that one. And there's this little teeny tiny one, which you can hardly even see because it's the paper that I use to decorate the front and it's very light. Let's see what I want this one. I'll just put it right up here. Okay, so here's the inside, all decorated. Very, very cute. So now we've got the front. So the front, I start off with a red paper and I kind of I cut it at I think it was like five and an eighth by four and a quarter or something like that and then I ended up having to trim it down so because when I use my gypsy my sizes are all funky and even if they weren't this does not create a five and a half by four and a card four and a quarter perfect size card no matter what you do so I just cut it down, you know what I mean? I just kind of lined it up and just trimmed off the excess um, paper. And that's kind of the weird thing about this particular pop out on this artiste is that they don't create the perfect size card that we're used to. It's kind of a little off. So that might screw people up. So you really got to make sure that your base is the same exact size as what your pop up cuts out at. Otherwise it won't fit in properly. All right, and then the paper I'm using is again Love by Fancy Pants Design. Really fun paper, kind of different colors than I'm, I'm used to. So I, I just cut it about an eighth of an inch smaller. It's not perfectly proportioned, again, because it's hard to do when your sizes are funky. But it's easy when I, you know, I'm not doing a pop up and I'm cutting my own sizes that I know exactly what to cut, but, you know, cuts it at a strange proportion, I guess, to make it proportionate. So, let's see here. Okay, so there this is. It's stamped already with my sentiment. Honey is where, home is where your honey is. And that's also from the Pink by Design stamp set. So, I love that. And then I've got this heart, which I'm going to put here, and I just cut this heart out using oh stampin up do I have them out I thought I had them out I don't know what I did with them they're the um they have these dies and I thought I had pulled them out but I don't see them right now they are um dies and they are for their big shot but they work in my cuddle bug oh here they are framelit hearts framelit hearts okay so I just use that and then I ran the image through my Swiss Dots cuddle bug for just a little something. Okay? So that was easy. I'm trying to use what I have. Plus my mat needed to be cleaned. Let's see here. Okay, so this is gonna fit right here. And then here is my super cute Beyond Words image. Create a critter two. And this is um the little B that's in there. And so it is cut at three, three inches, I believe, or three and a quarter, no, three and a quarter inches 
all the layers and I used stickles on the pink and a little bit on the wings okay and that's all I did with her it's very easy and cute I put her on some foam tape Oh, and also a little one here on the little heart antennas. And so, let's see, that right there. And then I have a couple of little hearts that I'm going to put on here too. And these little hearts on here. I have been reorganizing my, my stamp area, so I've been not crafting as much the past couple of days because I've been cleaning out stuff. So that's what I've been up to. Okay, so yay, my card is done. And so this says, home is where your honey is. And it's a very, very cute little card. When I open it up, oh, so cute it has this cute pop-up love i love it thank you very much for watching today this is cindy with creating with a heart